Cuomo under oath. Newly released transcripts detail a tense back and forth during the former governor's sexual harassment investigation. Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. The Cuomo's testimony made public today includes his emotional attempt to defend himself. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story. It could turn out to be the ultimate he said, she said story, one that ends up being played out in an Albany courtroom. He put his hand up my blouse and cupped my breast over my bra. I exactly remember looking down, seeing his hand, which is a large hand, thinking to myself, oh my God. This is happening. Brittany Camiso made the accusation not only to investigators for Attorney General Tish James, but to the Albany County Sheriff, who charged the former governor with forcible touching. But newly released transcripts of Cuomo's testimony to state investigators probing sexual harassment allegations show Cuomo regarded Camiso's tale as just a tale. That never happened, Cuomo told investigators. You know, at one point, there has to be a little reality. To touch a woman's breast, who I hardly know, in the mansion, with 10 staff people around, with family in the mansion, I would have to lose my mind to do such a thing. It would be an act of insanity to touch a woman's breast and make myself vulnerable to a woman for such an accusation. I am 63 years old. Numerous people have tried to set me up. I'm always wary of people. I have phenomenal precautions. I mean, it's just not even feasible. This is the first time we've heard Cuomo's side of things in the 515-page transcript released by the Attorney General. The testimony of 11 and women accusers was also released, but the most damning was Brittany Camiso's. Como also described Camiso as flirtatious and a, quote, gossip hotline who regaled him with tales of who was dating who in the Albany government crowd. The governor was asked at length about his penchant for kissing people. He says it's usually on the cheek, but says he may have kissed staffers on the lips at parties or birthdays. He was also asked, have you ever lied down on a couch with your head on the lap of a staffer? I have laid down on the couch often because I have a bad back, but, insisted Cuomo, I'll put my hand behind my head to sort of prop it up. Cuomo also made it clear he didn't care for the investigator hired by James, June Kim. As he left, Cuomo said, I would like to say it was a pleasure, Mr. Kim, but I'm under oath. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And tonight, a Cuomo spokesman released a statement slamming the attorney general, saying the transcripts include questionable redactions and raise even more questions about key omissions, which reeks of prosecutorial misconduct. He called it a slanted process. Attorney General James's office says she will not be responding to any of the questions from the Cuomo camp. The office says this is a PR stunt, raising questions not directly related to the sexual harassment allegations.